hello my loves hello hello you guys we have a story i don't know if you guys um are aware of this but let me go ahead and read this really quick here um so what we have come across is that jc penny has filed a restraining order against sephora oh my god who knew who knew well if you're if you're uh you know a lawyer or you know working in counsel or working in the legal system in some way you may have heard of businesses filing restraining orders against other businesses but this is the first that i've ever heard of this so it really caught my eye and of course i love me some sephora and i like jc penny so i'm gonna go ahead and read you guys what it's saying here um so it looks like what happened was uh, since March, when the COVID outbreak um, became uh, came to the point where everything was shut down, uh, J.C. Penney was forced to close their stores because, of course, they are not a an essential business. Okay, so because they're not essential, they did have to close their doors, and they had over 850 stores that they had to close down. If you don't know, Sephora. Um, there's a lot of JC Penney's that have Sephora inside their stores. Okay, so um, what JC Penney is trying to do now, because they have had to furlough the majority of their staff, and with a lot of areas looking into reopening non-essential businesses and easing up the stay-at-home order, um, they are looking to open their doors, and they want to. Um, open stores in the areas that are lifting the stay-at-home order um, and they are also and of course a lot of these stores um, have a Sephora in them and Sephora is not wanting to reopen at this moment so what uh, JC Penney did is they filed a restraining order against Sephora um, basically saying that um, you know them going against opening would um, you know is basically going to hurt their business is what they're saying so i'm going to go ahead and just read the way that it's written and um here we go so the lawsuit filed by jc penny claims that losing sephora will cause major financial impact on the company's recovery during the coronavirus pandemic uh, jc penny is in the process of reopening its stores and markets where stay-at-home orders have eased and non-essential businesses are allowed to reopen J.C. Penney was forced to close all of its stores in March because of the COVID-19 crisis, furloughing the majority of its workers the following month. The retailer also skipped a $12 million interest payment in April and is reportedly considering filing bankruptcy, um, filing for bankruptcy protection. So if you don't know, J.C. Penney at one point just a few years ago was looking into filing bankruptcy and closing, and they did kind of do make a comeback. So they ended up not closing. Um, they've had a contract with Sephora since 2009, and they claim to have many years to come in that contract. And as of right now, Sephora is looking to uh, pull out of the contract and leave JCPenney altogether as of April of 2021. And so JCPenney is, of course, against that because Sephora brings a lot of business for them. And they feel like if support is if support, ugh, I can't even say it. if Sephora uh, decides to leave JC Penney, then that will hurt their business, and they say irreparable. They feel like if Sephora leaves, then they will not be able to come back. Um, they will not be able to withstand that loss. So Sephora is fighting back. Sephora has uh, filed a motion to dissolve. Um, they're saying that what uh, the information in J.C. Penney's uh, um, report is untrue. Um, they're saying that you know they thought everything was fine between them. They were in talks back and forth, and um, so they thought things were going good. They thought that they were on the same page, and now J.C. Penney is looking to reopen these stores that they can open. And Sephora's like, wait a minute, you know, this isn't what we're talking about. This isn't what we were talking about. So, yeah, you guys, so I'm just going to keep my eye on this. I just wanted to come to you guys and just go over this with you. I think I'm feeling like, um, you know, JCPenney is kind of just, they still are not 
just solid in their business and Sephora with this pandemic and the losses and looking at bankruptcy Sephora's like hold up <laughs> you know like we don't want to be a part of that so they're feeling like you know let let us pull out so y'all whatever y'all got going on or whatever you decide to do it'll be JC Penney's only so we'll just watch and see um this just happened a couple of days ago um two days ago and then yesterday is when Sephora filed their motion um to dissolve the restraining order um they say that they're looking to come to a common ground um as far as like both businesses coming to a common ground and trying to did, did um, they tell you when, when they open they're not open no nope. and they're saying now probably not until the 29th because their stay at home order was extended to the 29th 29th yep of this month yep like when you call their phone they say their regular business hours but i went on their right. website and the website says no they're all closed there's only five open and none of them in this area and there's only five driving schools open and none of them in this area yep <laughs> okay all right, so let me let me close this out real quick. So that's it, y'all. So I just wanted to come to y'all and let y'all know about that. Let me know if you heard anything other than what I said, and then we'll just keep our eye on it and see how it turns out. Talk to y'all later.